We're at, hello, how's it going today? We're here at Wagner, Wagner Motorsports Park for the Purge. Jeff Thomas is putting this race on. He puts on the famous War in the Woods race. Always gets awesome sponsors, car count, keeps the spectators involved, keeps them rolling. And uh, we're gonna enter big tire and small tire today. So the car count's gonna be a little low just because of, uh, it's kind of a short notice race, only about four weeks to pre prepare for this one as far as getting the word out. But uh, it's gonna be great quality racing. So Megan's here, Eric's here. Uh, we don't have Elvira, so we're gonna bring it. I went to burn in the new hard tires and they're starting to make a noise. So I don't know what it is. I don't know if the lifter died or what, but uh, it happened like about eight hours before we needed to be on the road. So I needed to sleep and Megan decided to step to back and stuff. So we didn't, uh, didn't get really a chance to look at it too much. So unfortunately I had to leave her at home. But Megan's here supporting and having fun. So we're gonna go uh, run big tire first, it looks like, and then they're gonna run um, hard tire, which would have been what Elvira was in. Then I'm gonna run small tire and then uh, six shift. So stay tuned. We're gonna get down for first round of big tire here in just a second. Sponsored by Red Bull. We didn't get to do a post-race interview or preview of uh, Big Tire, but we drew uh, the only other Pro Charger car here, I believe, this beautiful red Camaro. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, let me flip that. I got him for small tire, but I'm also racing him, surprise, in the Big Tire final, because there's only four cars in Big Tire. We got 15 in small, and him and I took out the only two other Big Tire cars here for Big Tire class, so we're gonna have a small tire final in Big Tire. Yeah, congrats to both of us. So, we're gonna do that uh, at some point. I think when the sun goes down, we get a couple more rounds of racing off, kind of run the finals closer together. And then, um, we drew each other in small tire. I nosed him out in small tire. He was really close. Uh, we're moving pretty good, pretty happy. We uh, just drew for small tire, and we got this beautiful orange car right over there. So we're gonna run him and hopefully we move on. If not, uh, first and second round losers can jump into second chance small tire. So we're going to uh, try to get past this one. And if that's the case, then we'll be ineligible for all the second chances and we'll just have to go for the wins and everything. So 
Does your butt look okay? I didn't want the camera on it. I was well, for then you. you should have waited for the camera not to be on. It looks okay. It looks great. Are they see through? Nope. Was that what I was supposed to be looking for? Yeah. Oh, no, I was not looking for that. So, okay. Well, we got a couple things to do. We moved the four link from back of the track to front side and uh, I don't have quite enough preload in it and it drove left in small tire and once the track started to kind of come around a little bit because for big tire we're the second pass down so it's pretty sketch so I'm gonna make a small adjustment here and then off to the race as we go righty tidy lifty Lucy We've only been running for an hour. We haven't made three passes. <clears throat> Let's see if that's any faster. Yep, that is. That's actually our fastest pass on the Pro Charger to date. Wow. Wow! 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 three small tire got uh jasper graham let's go uh give him some shit can i sneak up <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're uh we don't really have like something for this like let's see what we got in it first did i say 450s on that tuna map two yeah, we're not gonna run that one. No. Everything's in hundred. Yep. That one's for like real sticky. Um, Forty pounds at half a second. Yeah, we're gonna add like half a pound of boost on the launch. Let's let him just see this right to a T, and then you gotta scramble? we're gonna try something we've never done. Yeah, we got to scramble. The other button. Go ahead and just add it to the tune. Off the trans brake. The one last thing to worry scramble about. Scramble about. <laughs> Six and a half. Six I would no, I wouldn't even do a scramble. Just put on the tune up, it'll make you faster. Oh, we already did that. I want an extra six in oh, case. Oh, so we're scrambling on top of the scramble. Yeah. So what do you call that? Poached eggs, scrambled eggs, eggs with cheese? We're done. We're going with <laughs> he scrambled pay someone to put leaves all down. And you were gonna give us the leaves too, right? Uh the leaves? The leaves are being provided by nature already. <laughs> make like a tree. We're, we're already we're already having trouble. Like, have you been to the left yet? I've only been in the left. You've only been the left. Okay. <laughs> it's been great. Okay. So far. I'm having I'm having a lot of troubles in the left. I, I will say the Preston's went right down the right. Cool. Like right down. Like that was the pass where I said they looked yeah. really, really Is good. Is this semis? Yeah, there's only four of us left. Holy shit, we're already you, in the semis. Me, Hate Tank, and Preston. So yeah, so it's either it's either going to be him or I versus Hey Tank or Isaac in the final. Nope. Which is like a pretty crazy floor. No, I was so like, it's you're the only like, car that's not black. Yeah, or big black or... You guys have black doors. Well, we don't know what Hey Tank has. Yeah, no one knows. No one can tell the sound of that big black just purring. I didn't know that was But fun. yeah, we're... This is probably the shortest race I think I've been in. Yeah, this is crazy. And how long? We've been at it for about an hour and a half. Hour and a half. <laughs> to the semi. That's crazy. 
I think everyone was just scared to come race you guys. Like, I don't know why. No, I, mean, I don't. I just wanted to say it. Fun. <laughs> there was a lot of races around. So what you you said you wanted to bet something on this? Yeah, you daddies. We're betting you daddies. You, well, okay. So explain it a little better to me, so I know what I'm getting into here. I just want to be part of the cool club. All right. So like you Ray daddy, and... you daddy is pretty much. You know, I can ask you whatever, and whatever your, your response has to be, you dead. So no matter what I come up with. So, all right, only, so we're betting one. Yeah, just one. All right. All right. So I only got to do it one time when you ask? Yeah. How will I know? You'll know. You're going to give me the... It'll, okay. be, it'll be obvious. It'll be very obvious. Yeah, it'll be like, hey, what's better, fuel tech or Holly? You, daddy. Yeah, something like that. Okay, okay perfect. So, so you practice yours, cause like, yeah, cause you I, just I, I, saw I, what we doing. Well, so. my, 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 my you daddy asking is horrible. I've got one against Nate that I gotta still use. And All right, I'm in. Cash that in. We finally made it. You got, you got the you daddy status. Yeah, I've been waiting for a while. Cause screw, screw betting money. Yeah, I figure, you know, I'm, I'm already broke. I don't want to go home broker today, yeah. so. This was supposed to be the final. I told Megan, like, we're just gonna stay away from each other to the final, and Have I'll take it. my ten percent. It's a small. I mean, at least it's the semi-final. <laughs> it's pretty close. We did pretty good. I'll take it. I'm the car's say. running good today, to be honest. Like it's doing everything it should. We finally have it where it works. Like, so we do feel really good about it. The last time we raced, it took them like Kelly Nate ten minutes to figure it out. But that was a pedal fest at Civil War, so I I'll go for that again. Like yeah. I'll take pedal fest all the way down where we're like, yeah, just praying. I mean, North versus South, we had a good race. Up no. at Muncie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was a call out, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, so we'll state that too. Did you were you watching the live or Megan was at least, dude? That like everyone's calling out the weakest people in the world, and I'm like, no. Well, no, man, who the hell does that? I was like, Megan, does Ryan want to go? And she's like, let me check. <laughs> he said, yeah, I love first round ducks. Like, this is easy, so. And then and then the race was like that big of a margin. Yeah, it was just like Kelly Nates. Like, it was an inch. I remember that's going down that's with so you and cool. looking and being like, wow, that was so cool. Yeah, that's and then cool. Noah got a shirt that he still wears to this day that's yeah. like now a crop top. It's like from the 80s. What? I don't even sure. know. I small. Okay. Small. That fits properly. Properly. <laughs> Unless he wants to look like me and That's wear the crop top, like you know, which is fine. We should make these. We should start with crop top and the LL. I told him I want to do Elvira and do like a chest right here. Dude, like he needs one of those top. shirts. Where's the Elvira shirt? I don't know how to do that without getting sued for using her picture. Just use boots. Just chop her head off. <laughs> if you spell it like one thing left, put your head on her like <laughs> costume. That would be the best. Just have, just have the neck, just have the neck end right here. So just have chest, you know, slender dress. Just use the silhouette. Yeah, there you yeah go. that's all you gotta use. <laughs> oh, maybe one day. <laughs> all right. Well, I don't know when they're calling us up. Be safe. Good luck. Be you want to go first or second? I have no care. Okay. If I'll you go like second. one better, yeah. Okay. I've been going first. Uh, Lippy's not gonna be able to hear me, so. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to hear me. I'm gonna be well, just sitting there. Your buddy, your, the orange car next to you, he's like, well, I'll go in first, so I take a bit. And then like, Lippy chopped him and like chopped me like we're both lower cars. And I was like, I sure hope he had enough time. But I was like, if he moved, then he had enough time. If he, didn't, he was didn't. looking at me and I gave him like a nod, but like we build boost in two seconds. That's like, good. so. <coughs> I do too. If I could take me two seconds. Like I said, minutes. I thought it was One, so cool two. at War in the Woods when me and Nate pulled in. Limpy didn't do the, he just went. And then hit the light. I was like, whoa, I never see him like just do both at the same time. So I was like, but he knew both of us are like right now. So we didn't have to wait. That's cool. All right, we'll see you up there. All right, good luck. <laughs> Fucking timing shack with my shoes. Oh. 
Final, big tire final. Our guy got his car fixed. Good for him. I'd rather not do a comp buy in the finals. Two small tire cars get it down. When we ran a small tire, he was pretty close. We sped up a little bit. He's had a couple hours to think about what he wants to do. So we'll see what comes out. I got what seems to be a little bit better lane. Um, I think the left lane is about 100, 200 faster from our perspective. Other racers are saying it's more like a 10, but based on our information, we're about the exact same. Well, yeah, we're going the exact same out the back door, but we're losing a hundredth in the 60 foot, so which could be just draggy here. So, all right, we're going for big tire. tire winner got it repeated our blower pb so we're sitting right down at the same number that we've been at all day long gosh this thing is so consistent it's ridiculous so we're going to give it about 10 12 minutes to cool down and then we're going up to run isaac Woo! way to go baby here we go So I'm in the finals with Isaac Preston for small tire. I did what lane did I get? Can't remember what lane I got. I got a lane. So they had a comp buy, eight tank broke. Um, they went up there, broke the beam. They're pushing back right now. our fastest fastest oh my goodness oh my well it needed that goodness <clears throat> oh
Yeah, see, the brownie works great as a pedestal. It's just a little off. That's all you're going to hear in the video. I don't think it'll crinkle. It'll be okay. All right, well, it's Sunday. We doubled down at uh, The Purge, the uh, first annual The Purge event. Jeff Thomas may do a couple more next year at that track. Um, Gangster's Paradise, if anybody remembers that from uh, earlier this year, we got rained out. We got half of it done. But, um, he said Nate won Friday, didn't he? Yeah, and Nate he won Friday. Out Saturday. And um, Jeff is moving that race to Waggler Motorsports. So the track we're just at, we'll be racing that next year once or twice. Such a cool track. Very nice. Lots of RV hookups for those that like to camp and show up early and plug in and stuff. So that's pretty cool. All the power pole things. I don't think they have like black water tank dump offs, but um, yeah, they got plenty of power out there. So that's neat. But uh, that was really cool. Um, you know, real bathrooms and showers on property. Yeah. Uh, for those that are camping and stuff, and um, I didn't get to see the concessions. We just hit, I, I hit the uh, taco truck that was there a couple times. It's always at uh, Warner Woods. I love that place. So, um, it was pretty good. It was good. I was trying to think, I'm trying to add up. Somebody asked me on one of my <coughs> Facebook posts last night, Megan put up our winning picture, and they're like, has the Pro Charger lost since we swapped? And it has, um, but out of, what was it, nine? Nine. Not yet, we've done nine yeah. events, or nine classes so far with it, and we've lost three. Oh, rumble strip, a little construction. Um, we've lost three, so the Pro Charger combination has lost, but it's doing pretty good for learning this thing. So last night, I reset my personal best no prep time i'm not where i want to be but i'm getting I'm, I'm inching closer and i wasn't even trying to reset it we were just trying to stay consistent and uh i just had like this one zone i was like i just want to do a little bit let's rev it just a little higher let's just put like a degree of timing in here nothing crazy i was like the tire is starting to really hook up pretty hard right there so let's just go ahead and just, just see if we can kind of fuck it up you know kind of mess it up some so i did that and it ended up rewarding me with like uh 600s off my overall et so that was neat that was neat that broke me into a new barrier for myself um so that was really exciting especially at a track that was covered in leaves and dust and it was chilly and we had some moisture coming down and really tracking issues just weren't that great eric what, what was your opinion on the track's surface versus war in the woods when we were there last war in the woods was way better like and at least in the front half yeah the first 60 to 200 feet it was a lot better i the leaves had me the most scared and somebody there was a couple people there it's like no the leaves don't bother me i was like the leaves are skating rings yeah every time i touched the leaves in the shutdown the car would wiggle back and forth and it was kind of unnerving when we first got there it the the leaves covered the whole shutdown of the track yeah like, like right at the the finish of the 660 and it was just like i was like if anybody hits that when it's full it was going to be real bad real fast it was a pretty fall picture it's about the only it thing was it was yeah it was beautiful <laughs> but luckily mother nature had somewhere between 17 and 25 mile an hour winds that took mud carapels to the leaves <laughs> during the day but as much as it would bring it back it blow them off yeah but I would say that War in the Woods was better on the, the the hit, and it just but it was a smooth track. It looked like yeah, it's I mean, very it, smooth. I don't think it's, the it's shocks a, it's really, moved really at all. yeah really nice overall surface. It's just I can only imagine what it's like to be there like a little bit different temperatures, you know, like just where the tracks got a little bit more tack to it because when trevor made that first pass down there i mean he, he was skating both sides were skating oh hard. yeah yeah that wrecked barrel and, and like normal you you made the lane in the left side and, and made the burnout long enough to where you had somebody to, the track to go off of and wherever else was there and you made the fastest pass definitely in the first round yeah we went by a we, lot we had a we had a number in our head of what the cars are going to do and we exceeded that number on the first pass or the second 
car down the lane and we beat that number and I was like, oh, it's going to be a good day. Like, it's a little sketchy, but I was like, it's going to be a good day and we didn't really wiggle much and we had just moved the four link back from uh, the backside racing at Ozark to this side, so we didn't quite have the preload where I needed it. So you really needed a pass to kind of test that out and <clears throat> being a dirty first round, I didn't really trust the steering shaft data from me yet, so we made another pass. And then I made a small tweak and went a little too far. Because I did a little rear steer, did a little in our roll bar preload, just a little little flat here, a little flat there. And uh, it was a little too much to start driving the car the opposite direction on the big end. And then we made that adjustment and then it didn't care if it was slick up top or not. We at least were, if we were spinning the tire a little bit, it was going straight. So, <clears throat> this thing's, this thing's starting to get to be very, very fine tunable. That's pretty awesome. That's what I was hoping for with this combination. It's, half it's flat, showing. Half a flat and 10 pound adjustments make. Yeah, it's huge, huge, huge difference. I mean, just, just makes it easy. I mean, I, I should say easy, it just makes it easier for me to drive, I guess. Yeah. So, um, gosh, we raced the Prestons again in the finals. Finally, finally got to miss each other until the finals. And uh, they were giving me a run. I, if they wouldn't have knocked tire off, they might have got me that time. It was it was a good race. It was a really good race. They just, they kind of, I don't know if it was just because they're close to the trees or what, but that left lane had been flying all day long. And we got to around the 330, 400 foot mark and they had a little wiggle went towards center and the car made a big move on the adjustment so that they did a good job gathering that up but uh gosh we had tough competition yeah you I long. mean you raced i mean when it was to talk about what your car is and all that all that discussion about it, it's like you you raced a lot of pretty cars yeah a lot a of lot beautiful of pretty cars. <laughs> yeah like <laughs> a lot of cars that had us out powered yeah like it, like when you had what two or three cars there that are that are touting that they made somewhere between 31 and 3600 horsepower yeah and, and i'm over here is my measly like 1900 yeah it probably makes more and fun, like but. i mean like i i'm still like the same way it's like tom bailey's old setup mm. you know what i mean like his his drag week setup and there's you know 615 cubic inch 140 blower like monster There's a 136 one i'm sorry 136. It, needs, it needs to be sped up but yeah it just just to be able to race a motor that has all that drag week heritage to it was pretty cool too. And that car's gonna be really fast. Really, really That's fast. Really pretty. I think yeah. I think I was their ninth and tenth pass on that combination. And as soon as they get a hold of that, that thing is gonna be flying. Yeah. So all you uh Indiana tree side no preppers, that car has stock firewall and cooling system and charging system. Well charging system available. I got thing. And probably, you can't make a rule to keep that car out. Yeah, and it's probably got a bolt-on front sub. Yep. So it's just like... It, yeah, it, there's it's nothing ever, you can do about it. <laughs> and it can... I mean, technically, we go back to the daily driver class because it's got freaking three sets of injectors. Well, I mean, it's it's almost true street class. Yeah. Because he just has to swap his side windows back out to glass, I think is all it was. And it's, uh, it's a true street car or, you know, some loosely fit all-steel, all-glass cars. Yep. Or daily if you're in those arts. Um, so, I mean, they, <laughs> I gotta leave it around there, but anyways, it doesn't, I mean, the spirit of the, the class, it, it is, I understand where some people are, more budget minded people are in this, and I can understand how people are going to want to drop back, and I, I get it. But I mean, there's still those of us, you know, like like me, like my car. I'm like, we've been chipping away at my car for over 20 years, and just making minor minor adjustments, minor tweaks, and just you know, really learning and paving our own way through a lot of this stuff. And but your car is the basis of what it can be, not not what it is now. Like it's what, a, it's a good example of if you've got. If you got money, you got one direction you go. If you don't have money and you got time, you do what I do. I mean, everything is just like why. Like anybody can get on the face, the YouTube, the Facebook channel, even go back and look at old thirteen twenty and follow the progression of what that car has been over the years, because it's it's chronological order from from thirteen twenty videos back in two thousand and what eight 
Yeah, like all really, time. yeah, like I mean, like you can go back and look at the OG stuff all the way around to know that you can you can go from zero to a hundred. You know, when, when like camcorders became more readily available, <laughs> you know, but there, there there was the racing before all that. You know, before flip phones. You know, back in the Nokia days and stuff like that, there's still racing going on. You know, it just didn't get you know reported and published very often because it was really hard to hold like a mini DVR or mini DV. But, camcorder out the window in the night mode. Don't look back stuff. here. I don't know. Yeah, she was. She may not have even been born yet. I don't know. Oh. I haven't even seen her birth date. I couldn't even tell you if she was born in 89 or not. Just, so. I hate that. <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> don't you know it's like the one rule? Well, there's multiple. I didn't say anything that confirmed anything. 99. <laughs> so, oh, I ride over there on the road. Um, I know that feeling. Oh, but you know, I, I will say at least nowadays, you get the advantage of there's so much information out there, and if you pick a combination you want to follow and you want to replicate stuff like that, I mean, most of those people are going to tell you what they got in a lot of cases. I mean. And that's the cool thing. You can you can get a streamlined path. You know, I, I don't even want to think about how much money and combinations I've gone through to try to achieve a goal. And now it's like you can go right after that build in the first place, and you're going to save yourself hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, just rebuilding and stuff like that because you can get to the final answer now. So... I think that's nice. I think that's something that a lot of people miss out on is the you can either copy somebody's combination or you can look at what it's doing, you can find its weaknesses, and you can improve upon it for yourself and really optimize that combination however you want to. So I think there's always that opportunity out there for a lot of people as well. You know, some work. I'm constantly learning every pass with this combination, moving things around, just little tweaks, but you know, I mean it doesn't happen overnight. You know, you gotta. But you know, yeah. you'll never win a race if you don't step in the ring. That's true. And I mean, you gotta remember if you're also testing a bunch, you need to also be cautious of items do wear down on cars. You know, how you transport cars matters. How you you know maintain the motor. Um, you know, preparing for race day and that stuff. I think that stuff gets forgotten a lot. Um, it's still good to check over your stuff and lots of notes and, you know, a, uh, either you do it on your phone or you do it in your EFI system. Uh, there's lots of, I mean, almost every EFI system out there now has note sections in the data log where you put your whole combination in there, whether it be shocks, bar angles, preload, all that stuff can be in there ready to go. And you can just go back and reference that and it's just all about how you save your information and just use that to start building your repertoire of, you know, combinations and tunes and suspension setups. And then you can go out there with confidence in first round and have a playbook and then you go, hey, I'm going to put this in there because, you know, this surface is got rubber all the way down. It's clean. It's not bumpy, blah, blah, blah. Then there you go. Or you're on the street and you're kind of like, this is some horrible asphalt. You know? I will say this too, is that like over the last, even more so the last two or three years, I've seen more people, and like we've been doing this long enough that like we pretty much know most everybody. Like a name comes up, we know the car, we usually know it, data. There's people that have been in the semifinals, like have, have worked their way up the ladder, and we're like, I don't know who that person is. And, and they're making it with a combo that they did everything themselves. Like we, they're, you know, they, they're still openings for people to go through it's like every race you read and run into somebody new that's that's having a good time and, and fast that like is just out of the woodwork fast yeah yeah it happens so i mean it's still it really still is anybody's race it's just you know consistent crew help you know polishing your program and uh don't get discouraged you know race race the lane if you want to gamble a little bit on run a little bit extra power because you got so and so, go for it. But do it in a way that's not going to cause you to abort your pass. You know, just try to play it smart. And that right there, 
can lead to a lot of wins. I mean, like I said before, I mean, I spent years not being the fast guy. I mean, I, I had a lot of people ask me yesterday, are you the fastest car here? I was like, no. I was like, I think I'm third fastest. I was like, I think Frank's faster. I think this um, Trevor's car is faster. Than this blown uh, red car with Bailey's old combination. I was like, I think those two are definitely faster than me. They have been faster than me on this kind of surface. And uh, I was like, but I was like, I'm going to play the consistency game. And we're going to just try to repeat the whole time. And if there's opportunities for tiny incremental increases, we're going to do it. But if not, then I'm just going to run the number and try to cut the light, which Jasper smokes me on the light on our pass with him. So that video will be coming together from his side, I'm sure. Yeah, it's pretty funny. So, I'm like the brakes didn't let you down. But anyways, uh, that's kind of our recap from uh, The Purge. I'm looking forward to seeing that event grow. So, like I said, if you haven't been to a Jeff Thomas race, you're missing out. There's always tons of excitement, entertainment mixed in. The announcer, really, him paired with the announcer does a really great job of keeping just the atmosphere light, fun, entertaining, and busy. So, even as a spectator, there's not a lot of downtime. And when there is a little bit of downtime, you guys are winning stuff from the raffles. You know, good food. You know, they don't really run out of food unless it's really, really late. Everybody's kind of prepared now for huge car counts and people counts. So, I mean, even the 50 50 raffle, not last night, but at Warren the Woods, was the 50 50 raffle was 2,500 bucks. Yeah, it was over 2,000. So. Yeah. And like Waggler, I, I, I feel like that's a perfect place to have like a two or three day event. Yeah. Because like, with just, all the camping there. Oh, gosh, yeah. So. But anyways, till next time, we're gonna see what the weather does, and we're either going to our favorite race in October, which is Hearthstone, for a trunk or treat. Um, but unfortunately, the weather's kind of 50-50 on rain right now, so they gotta make that call, and we've got a couple other idea, ideas for events that we may hit, but unfortunately, it looks like the whole country may be getting hit with rain, so maybe out for next weekend. But uh, stay tuned. What's Megan gotta say? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, please and thank you. She's stay. working on the footage right now. <laughs> stay out, stay clean. Stay out, stay clean. <laughs>